Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Bam. So, how's your day going? That's good. And if your day's going bad, hope it gets better. So, I'm going to start out this video by getting a drink of water because I'm so freaking thirsty. Taking some ibuprofen because I have a headache. <clears throat> So these are something I've never had before. Don't know if I said this, but how's your day going? That's good. And if your day's going bad, I hope it gets better. Sorry, my brain's like going three different places at once. But this is a biscuit with cheese and sloppy joe on the inside, I think. Oh, sorry, I just hit y'all. That's what it looks like. Um, I'm not totally hungry like hungry enough to like devour all this but I'm going I'm like hungry but not like hungry <laughs> that makes no sense but pretty good there's onions in it So I'm going to be telling a story time today. It's not a real story time. That might confuse you a little, but it's a story time about a dream I had last night. So, yeah. So, I had a dream, I was laying in bed, and I get a phone call from a number, I don't have a clue who it is, never seen the number in my life, so I answer it, and it's a military person. He's like, hello, my name is Sergeant something, I can't remember what he said. And I was like, is this about Blake, my brother, because he's in the National Guard. So that was like my first thought. <clears throat> he's like, yes, this is about your brother. And at first I freaked out, thinking, did he get hurt? Is he okay? What's happening? So he's like, your brother is being shipped to, well, he's being tra um, shipped by a train to this train station. And it's going to be like a little soldier meet and greet kind of thing with the family. <clears throat> if you wanted to drive out there. And I was like, yes, I would like to. Where is it at? And he told me where it was at. It was like an hour away from where I lived. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go. For some reason, I'm the only one out of the whole family that goes, which is weird, but I was dreaming, so you never know. So, I get there, and and... <clears throat> I'm sitting there for like an hour. There's a bunch of people there. They have like, at the train station there was like, um, um, vending machines. There was a little cafeteria area. There was this area with drinks. There was this area with food. And then there was like picnic tables you could sit at. And then there was this, uh, where the train comes. So, I was sitting there at a table, waiting. And I thought I was only going to see my brother there. But, there's this other person, he's best friends with my brother. And he's like a brother to me. Um, yeah. So, um, the train stops, and I see Blake. And he gets off the train, but he doesn't come to me. 
which is weird. So I'm like, okay. And I don't see, see who he goes to because it's like so many people there. So, um, I go to look at, see if his friends from Texas, which is where he's at right now, um, if they came too. And they did. Um, but then I saw the guy that I was talking about. Um, I'm just going to call him C because last time I gave out names, y'all like scrambled to find people. And so his name's C. And I see him. <laughs> see him. And I just like feel so happy. And I run up to him and hug him. And he's like, Where's Blake? I was like, I don't know. He went to somebody else. And we were both confused because we didn't know who he went to. And so, man, C are hugging. And then C's sister comes up. And man, C's sister, man, his sister never got along. So she's like, why did you go to her first and not me? He was like, I didn't even know she's going to be here. And then me and her got into this argument. I was like, calm down. I just saw him. So I went up to it and like, it was a big ordeal. And then finally, I see Blake and he's with, um, this girl that he's dated before. And I don't know if he's dating her recently, but he could be. And I was, like, kind of mad about it. But at the same time, I was like, okay, I'll get to see him anyway. No use in starting a fight. So, I hugged him. And then, so, somehow, she disappeared. I guess I disappeared her with... Because it was my dream. I don't know. <laughs> but it was me, C, Blake, and, like, all Blake's friends from Texas. Which I can't remember their names because he, like, gives them all these weird nicknames. Um, so we're sitting there, and we're talking, and, um, around this part is where it gets fuzzy, because it was where I was about to wake up, so I'm trying to remember, um, he was, um, talking about something, could I tell you? Probably not, um. I really can't remember much and then we just talked and for some reason I remember this part like the people that were watching the like the I guess there was people like supervising and stuff I don't know why but I was like sneaking a drink for some reason even though they were free so that kind of like throws me off the whole story and then there was like I just remember this part because it was funny there was like two donuts left like two packs of donuts left and I like stuffed them in my purse for some reason I don't know I guess for the trip back I don't know that's like a weird part that I remember and then I remember us playing cards and I kept beating them at Mal and then they beat me at re uh, Egyptian Rat Screw, which is a fun game. And then, eventually they had to leave. And then I woke up. <laughs> so that's that dream that I had last night. Sorry if you're confused, but I just wanted to tell it because I didn't know what else I was going to talk about today. <clears throat> But it is summer break, and there's a, my town has nothing here, so it's about to start a fair soon, and <clears throat> hopefully I'll get to go to that. It's summertime now, I just finished my junior year of high school, and I'm excited. Um, I've been looking for a job, because my other job just isn't right for me I guess it's so hard to find it like I don't want to work in fast food but if it goes down to it I guess I'll have to um I want to hang out with my friends this summer but 
have to work around their schedules and stuff. Excuse me. Um, Y'all really want some more mukbangs this summer, so I'm going to try to film. But I just get, like, so, like, like, when I'm back in my room, ready to, like, eat supper, all I want to do is watch Netflix and, like, lay in my bed. So, it's hard to get motivated to do this stuff, but I'm going to try. Sorry I didn't eat much. I ate, I, like, picked around at it mostly, but it was good. If I was more hungry, I probably would have ate more of it, but... I just wasn't that hungry, but I wanted to make a video for you guys because I didn't know when else I would get to make one. Um, Ryan has been talking about doing this 24 over 24 hour um, live stream challenge, which I don't know if it's gonna be a good thing to do tonight because I'm tired for some reason, even though I slept till one o'clock in the afternoon because I stayed up really late last night. I didn't get home till 12 because I spent the whole day with Austin's sister Brandy and her boyfriend or her and Blake and their kids and we just cooked and we had fun and we watched the movie The Kissing Booth even though it was my third time watching it it was such a good movie still um so yeah I went in the video there sorry it's not a long video but at least it's not a very short video hope you guys have a good rest of your day or night and I'll catch you back here whenever bye